Denim is considered one of the most important fabrics in the entire world, specifically in America. It all started with Levi's. But now there's a new champion in the US, and they're called Rogue Territory. This and much more at 7. Well, good news, everyone. Since the last video I made, it is still fall, as you can tell by this non-deciduous tree. They're probably coming for me. Any minute now. Hello, YouTube. It's Michael. And I'm sick today. I have a stuffy nose, and I hate it. And I don't know how the video is going to come out today, because I could die in the middle of it. I could just drop dead. But I'll try my best. So hopefully everything comes out good. You know, as I was doing that intro, I put my phone down. Anyways, though, today we are looking at Rogue Territory's Sashiko Cruiser Jacket, and it's great. I can't wait to talk about it, and I don't actually feel that sick anymore. I, I felt sick before. I felt really sick earlier this week, and now I don't. Rogue Territory is the best denim craftsman in America. That's a statement. I'm sure some people will be like, that's not true, and other people will be like, yes, it is. It doesn't matter to me. I saw that actually, I think on Heddles, which used to be called Raw Denim. And I was like, oh yeah, Rogue Territory is really cool. So I figured that I'd do a review on them. Also, of course, you know, there's Left Field NYC, there's Emojin and Willie, there's Telesin, there's all these other American denim brands that are equally as cool and good. I just thought that'd be a really good title. Before we get into the main part of this jacket, which of course is the Sashiko fabric, there are two details, actually there's more than two details that I want to talk about. One of them being this mysterious hole and hole mic, and hole mic will tell you all about that. I was about to say hole milk, and then right as I was gonna say it, I said that can't be right. On this jacket, you'll notice there's an extra button hole. We'll be getting into that. Thanks, Michael. So today we're looking at a brand called Rogue Territory, run by Carl and his wife, Leslie. I don't know what they, responsibilities they share, but I do know Leslie goes by the name Little Pellets on Instagram, and if you package your returns incorrectly, she will kill you with Little Pellets, aka bullets. Fold your clothes. What are you, a baby? When she posted that, I was like, oh my god, do I package my things like that when I return them? And then I realized the secret. I don't return anything, because I'm, I feel too bad that I bought something from the small company and then I returned it so I just keep it from what I understand Carl is kind of just like a denim or tough heritage outerwear wonder child he started working at American rag and everybody really wanted all of his stuff and then I, something with Kanye West and he was just you know Carl was just one of those people that was born to do something and then he found it which is the rarest combination of that and it shows with all of his work but Without further ado, we will get into the Rogue Territory Sashiku. You may also be wondering, why am I holding this stupid thing in my hand? Well, remember when I said that the microphone was broken on my camera? Turns out the camera was broken on my microphone. So the microphone jack just doesn't work anymore. So I have to use this, which I actually haven't used since like the fourth grade. Besides the whole milk thing, there are two main details, or two, I guess, reoccurring motifs, and that is this man passionately stitching what I assume is the jacket. This man is not Carl, as you could tell by this side-by-side -side image. This is, in fact, a separate man. I'm assuming this is the guy that made the fabric. And then there is another man on the leather patch who is doing the same thing. I'm assuming he's making another jacket. I'm also assuming these are not the same men. But either way, cool graphic. The only thing is the fabric on the inside, I think it's super cool. I like that it's a hidden detail, but it frays on the sides because it's just a raw edge. I don't know how I feel about that. I might love it, I might not. I, just, I really don't know. But we'll find out because I'm gonna wear this jacket for a long time. Other than that, something I wanted to make note of was that Jeff Bezos is a huge fan of Rogue Territory, as you can tell by his Blue Origin logo and Rogue Territory's logo. Carl, don't you worry, I'm gonna send a little email to Jeff Bezos at Amazon.com and say, hey Jeff, just wanna let you know, you should buy everything through Rogue Territory because it's gonna save you a ton on branding. <laughs> Thank you.
This is Rogue Territory's Sashiko Cruiser. Their cruiser line is their take on their Type 3. So kind of like this, except you could see the booby pockets are squared. And then there's these two lines that typically are diagonal on a Type 3, but not on this jacket. Also, side note, if there's any utilitarian purpose for these two lines on these jackets and on Type 3s, please let me know. I would really love to know. Honestly, that would make my whole life because I can't figure it out. I think it's just to give it some more visual interest. So there's a lot of interesting things about this jacket, but one of the weirdest things that tripped me up is the shoulder measurements are not what you typically see. So typically I wear like a 17 and a half inch shoulder. That's like my perfect size, 17.25 or something like that. And in order for that to be a thing with this jacket, I would have to get like a, in between a large and an extra large, which certainly isn't true. And I did hear that Rogue Territory jackets were really slim. So I just, I commented on Carl's post and I said, these are my measurements. It doesn't look like any of your jackets will really fit me. And Carl basically said to me, well, I'm bigger than you and the medium fits me. So I was like, okay, well, and this is the medium. I think it's either a perfect fit or it's a little too big. I don't really know, but I think when I wash it, I'll probably wash it with warm water or dry it, and then it will shrink and fit perfect. So I don't know how this fits. I think good. This video may be a little bit weird because I'm feeling a little sick, a little blue, a little in the gutter, and I will probably just resort to cheap puns. You know, I just tried my first botany joke. I hope that went well. If not, I guess it didn't have any roots. <laughs> the Rogue Territory website says that this jacket is slim, which makes me think that I may have sized up one, which I would highly suggest if you want to get a fit like mine where you can layer under it, because I think if I did get the small, I might be able to layer a very thin sweatshirt under it, unless I got gained weight or if I washed it. But medium, I feel like either way, I'll be able to layer something under it, which is good, because I always want to do that it really extends the length of when you can actually wear the jacket and fade it. This very nice, very large family was walking through the woods and they asked me to take their picture. And I took it on my camera. I didn't realize they meant with their iPhone. So this is a 14 ounce Sashiko fabric coming from Japan. I forget the name of the mill, but I will say it right here. Nihon Menpu. Great job, Michael, you said that perfectly. And I am not the Sashiko king, I haven't had a ton of Sashiko, but if I do meet the king, I will bow to him and I will say, this is pretty good Sashiko, right? And he'll say, yeah, of course, it's from Rogue Territory. But I will say two things. One, this is the first Sashiko fabric that I bought that is actually very substantial. It feels very thick and stiff. Most Sashiko I've gotten is a little, it's usually actually pre-washed for one, so it's always a lot softer, but it's usually pretty flowy right off the bat and pretty soft. I pulled this out of the box and it felt stiff. It does make me like this jacket it a lot more than other Sashiko pieces I've had just because I do like that a lot. It also does join the Hall of Fame in jackets that actually look wet with indigo, which there are certain jackets, 316s, Type 3S, in their Shadow Selvage denim also is there, where there is just so much indigo packed into the actual threads that it looks wet when it starts to fade the contrast is so high it looks like your jacket is just like still kind of dripping with indigo and this is definitely no exception and this jacket crocs like crazy when i wear this jacket even just for like two hours when i take it off my arms are a little blue my hands kind of look dead because they're colored in blue it is just slammed with indigo which i feel like most sashiko things are i think since sashiko is not a twill weave it absorbs indigo a lot more than denim does and it also rubs off insane fast because this jacket also fades incredibly. I would say it's a very fast fader. This is Carl's after eight months and he says he put some heavy wear into it so I'm assuming he wore it almost every day. I would like to tell you that I am in my perfect environment. This is, you know, sometimes when they say, like a parakeet, they prefer climates between 70 and 73 degrees, and humidity should be this, or those, that might be plants, I can't remember. If I was a plant, they would say, put Michael right here, in the dirt, and he will grow, and he'll show you everything he's got, flowers will be blooming. Sorry for interrupting the video, I just... It's 63 degrees outside, perfect denim or sashiko jacket weather. This is a campsite that's pretty wide open with woods all around. The sun is setting, it's fall. I just, I love fall and the outdoors. And to get a little sad, I really wish I was with someone right now. Not even romantically, just, you know, just like spending time here. Cause this is really nice. 
and one day I will. Okay, I'm deep in the hole right now, just to tell you about what the hole is on the jacket. So that extra buttonhole, simply, there was a time where a lot of people had pocket watches. Now that they don't, this hole may be presumably for nothing, but Carl puts it there anyways. I know he keeps his sunglasses in there, but it's pretty cool. It's like a little telltale sign of a rogue territory item. I think it's sweet. Also, this little kid ran through this hole, and I said, what is this hole for? And he said, oh, this is a hole for a tunnel. Okay, I guess that's the best answer I could have gotten. All in all though, this Rogue Territory Sashiko Cruiser is an incredible jacket with an incredible attention to detail. Like I was saying, Rogue Territory, I think, is one of the best denim brands in America. And I feel like Carl is part of the breed of like, also Ship John. I don't really know who else, maybe Left Field NYC, I'm not too sure, but one of those cool people that basically, if for some reason all the manufacturers in the world said, hey, Carl, we don't want to make your jackets anymore. We think they're ugly. Carl would be like, and he'd pull out his own sewing machine and start from the top of all of his orders and just make all the things himself and send them to everybody and everything would be okay. And I think that's why Rogue Territory has the reputation of being such a great brand. It's because there is so much craftsmanship behind Carl and his wife and whoever else is on his team. It could just be them, but that's why I think they're the best. And they make incredible stuff with cool designs and unique holes. And we always like to explore unique holes. Anyway, I'll see you next week where I get rid of all of my jackets. Hopefully that's fun.